hello everyone so welcome to this video and in this video i'm going to show you how to use the gradient color in your custom gradient map block in my last video i have discussed about how can we use a solid color for our content color so today i want to use a background color that will be our gradient background color for our container if you go to the I could in the component uh, storybook from the github you will find there is a gradient figure you can see this is the gradient figure and this is the gradient palettes and if you check out this website wp-gb.com and search for the gradient you will find there are some more informations about gradient there are a number of components for the gradient so today we want to use a simple gradient then we will try to uh, implement our more advanced gradient first i want to implement the gradient picker if i open this gradient picker and check out its dog you can see uh, this is a component and we have to import this component first and then you can see it has some uh, property like value and on just function and there is some gradients this gradients will be visible as in the bubble uh, circle like this so let us try to create our first gradient so if you also search for this here for this gradient figure you will see there are the same uh, like if you go to this doc and search for the code you will see the similar result or similar code structure if you, you can go to the putting back developer handbook and if you go to the component reference like this and this is my component reference and search for the gradient you will find the same structure like i want to search for the gradient figure and this is our gradient figure you can see this is the sample code for our gradient picker first of all we have to import this gradient picker from components so let us uh, create gradient picker we are going to import it gradient picker like this so we have successfully import the component and secondly i am going to add this component from here simply you can copy or you can write from this class so here i want to create a another panel like panel body i want to give the title of this panel will be our like final title gradient gradient background or pc like this and initially i want to make it uh, hidden so call this gradient component like this one you can see this is our gradient component i want to make it aligned properly first it is asking we don't need to have this one just we are using some basic uh, property first one it is asking for the value that means we will pass the attribute value here so and this block to json there is a background color right now it is an string we want to pass a default background color or we can keep it the blank so i want to use this one already you can see this we have district it from our attributes because we have used it in here i want to remove this from here because we want to use this in our gradient so background color current gradient set attributes okay so set attributes will work like sorry i don't want to like so these are some basic gradient as an example 
if I run my terminal like npm run or I'm going to start and if you go back to this my editor panel and refresh I can see there is a new panel body and you can see there is a new gradient figure and it is looking exactly like this one so there are three uh, circle you can see there are three th circles here you can also add more circle like I want to add some more there are six so I add the copy and add the remove and paste here like you can also build the custom gradient uh, circle as per your need and if you refresh you will see there are six circle gradient circle now you can pick any gradient color from here or you can also pick a color for our custom gradient like this okay you can select the type of the gradient like linear or radial change to the angle also or you can also clear this gradient to set the default so let me add to this container so you can see this is our container i want to install this so we will search for styles and we'll search for background color so background color will be our background color something like this and similarly for our front end that's mean if we go back to this front end i will see the center js we will also implement this style and we have to distract this background color from our attributes and then so uh, we must start so there is a simple problems we can see in, in this it interjects let me check out what is the problems so this is oh sorry what is the problems inside the here like Style this background color as background. Sorry, that's it. Oh, sorry, there is some mistakes here. Let me. So let us create background color and background copper. That's it. Since we are using the same uh, attribute name, we can skip one. The same thing for this area. And now let us. I want to create a new terminal and a new start. Now it is uh, rendering successfully. If I refresh, I will see there is no bare gradient background because we didn't select anything. So let us select one, 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 one. And if we check out what is the problem, it is not working at all. And if you check out what is the reason for not working this gradient color. And if I go back to this front end also, I will figure out the reasons. You can see if you source for this, you can see this is the gradient background color. If you use a background color, we will not get the gradients like this. So we have to use only background instead of using the background color. Suppose you or if you use only the background, you will see this is working fine so we have to use only background type because the background color is only for solid color similarly for this we have to use background only and if we refresh 
we will see the result yeah import and you can see yes it is now working fine now select another ones or this one or is or you can pick another and you can sense the content color like white color and refresh you will see the result yes it is working fine now if you inspect you will see this background coding is working fine so this is the simple way or process you can easily use a background color for a Gutenberg editor or Gutenberg block. I hope you have understood this. If you have any more questions, you can let me know. I will try my best to help you. Thank you.